previously on Rebuilding Wimbledon. I don't think that's a very smart plan. I think we should come here and play like we did when we went to the Allianz against Bayern. Very well, Fabio. Yo! Oh! Is that the beginning of the bad luck starting again? The problem is, when you defend and play the deeper line, generally when we can see goals, it's from the crosses. Um, like that. <sighs> Schalke 1, Wimbledon nil. Right, we're going to have to go for it now. Go on, Mateus. But oh, chance was there. I don't think we've actually won a game in the knockout stages of the Champions League yet, and I just don't know why. Hi, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Wimbledon. We're back. And uh, we've got ourselves one hell of a task on our hands today. That's all I can really say. If you're still enjoying the series at this point, do drop a like on the video. If we could get 400 as always, that would be superb. It really, really would. Um, so, enjoy the highlights of the games that we played this month, of course. And I'll join you guys in a sec for the second leg at home against Schalke. A must-win game. See you guys soon. Sanchez steps up, scores the penalty, and United have the lead. Glorious stuff. Ghosts pass his mouth. We need a good cross and a good finish from someone here. Ball across. Peter's in there and that is the goal. Wimbledon 1, Manchester United 0. Peter's 20th goal of the season. And yes, he's equaled his tally from last season now. Eisler steps up. Dispatches it. Wimbledon 2, Manchester United 0. In this second half, we've fallen behind. Flipped it around on them and now we leave from the penalty spot. Well, there we go. 2-1 Wimbledon. Once again showing that we're up for the fight in big games and yet we just cannot seem to do it in Europe. Ball in. Mamana's in there off the post and put it on the rebound by Jordi Ramos. Three minutes in and Liverpool already have the lead. Those bloody free kicks. Peter's going to cut inside himself. Can he have a shot maybe? Goes for Fabio instead. He can turn. He can score. Liverpool won. Wimbledon won. Fabio with his 14th goal of the season. He's still going to go on for a very good tally come the end of the year. That much I do know. Well, there we go. Liverpool won. Wimbledon won. A pretty fair result. Maybe we... I don't know. I mean, it's still not the best, but it could have been a lot worse. Though Another injury could be a worry. Fabio, a bit of space. Peter's through. Oh, he's put it. How the hell did he get it in from that angle? I would be complaining if my goalkeeper let a goal like that in. Wimbledon won. Chelsea nil. Alexander Peter with his 21st goal of the season. Good stuff and we lead. Ed can farm a find a ball. He finds Peter and Peter makes it two. Wimbledon two. Chelsea nil. Alexander Peter's 22nd. Can he finally get that hat trick he's been craving for us today? He's got it. But can he provide something here? He's going to run down the right. He's gone past his man. Looks into the middle. Fabio knocks it around the side for Baltan. Baltan's in. Nearly three. Should be three. Should be three. How the hell did he manage to save all that? A, a quadruple save from the keeper. Sarah, will he dribble towards the goal from there? He's got a lot of players up for him. Salvi's one of them. Peter's another one. The hat trick is here. Wimbledon three. Chelsea nil. Alexander Peter scores a hat trick in about 10 minutes as well, which is glorious. Finally, we go Wimbledon three. Chelsea nil. Alexander Peter's taking home the match ball, and it's thoroughly deserved from him. Over the top for him, man, Baltan. Can he pull a cross in? It's what we need right now. Ball in. Farmer on the... Oh, what a save. What a strike. And it's Salvi on the rebound. Spurs won. Wimbledon won. Alessandro Salvi needs one more to hit double figures. And you know he's got it in him. Fabio looks long for Baltan. He's in. And he scored this time. Spurs won. Wimbledon two. In round Baltan. 21 goals for the season. It's about time we broke them down at the end. And we have the lead again. Cut out by Gomez. Straight through the middle for Kenneth. For Mateus now. Back through for Kenneth. And it's three. Spurs won, Wimbledon three, Kenneth van den Hover with his seventh of the season, Mateus with the assist and the substitutes combined to give us the lead even more. Slips it through for Banali and he's hit the post and put it on the rebound. How are we only winning this game by three goals to two is beyond me really, but there you go, Banali gets on back for Spurs. Achibar. Bit more space, looks out wide for Sally. can he finally get an assist today? Ball in, Kenneth's in again, Wimbledon have a fourth goal, uh, Kenneth's got two off the bench and another assist for Alessandro Salvi and we're beating Spurs here at White Hot Lane. And there you go, Spurs two, Wimbledon four. We've picked up 10 points from a really tough stretch of game, so I'm actually pretty pleased with that over. They could look over the top for Neves of all people running through. He's got the overlapping though. Everton to Mateus, one touch, strikes. Oh, what a finish. Wimbledon one, Everton nil. Mateus with the goal, the hugely rotated side because we've got Schalke coming up, but we still want to make that FA Cup semi. There you go, Wimbledon one, Everton nil. A, a really poor, languid performance, but Mateus' goal sends us to Wembley for the FA Cup semi-final. Wow. Right, guys, we're back. And as you can see, we are currently sitting top of the Premier League, but only by a point. And City do have a game in hand on us. Despite our good run, you know, we beat Arsenal. Uh, sorry, no, we beat Man United. We beat Chelsea. We beat Spurs. And we drew with Liverpool. We've had a pretty decent run, of course. Liverpool, you know, have really picked things up a little bit. Man United aren't a bad side. Chelsea are a little bit worse down the league and Spurs aren't. You know, we're actually, you know, it's more like Man City, Arsenal, Newcastle, Stoke are the ones you really want to watch. But, you know, it's still a decent run of games. And we've still picked up a lot of points. But the fact is, City are just giving us such a hard time for the time. 
title this year. I genuinely don't think we'll get the title, but I think we'll finish probably with a record points tally and not win the title. I believe that's 89 points. And remember, we're only 13 points behind that now. We've got seven games left. We've also already qualified for the Champions League, which is pretty damn cool. So question of the day today is one I've been, I haven't seen this one. It's been there for a while. Seeing, um, question of the day, seeing the nations that view your channel, can you show us the top nations that view your channel? Um, yes, I can. Here's a screenshot. Uh, I've just, well, not right now, but I will later take it from my analytics and put it in here. So yeah, that, that's basically the top nations. I don't know how many that's actually going to show, but that's the top nations that view my channel. It's sort of pretty self-explanatory, really, you know, United Kingdom, United States, but then, you know, Scandinavia, it's cool to see uh, are quite high up on that list as well. So, Salvage, as you can see, is still top goal scorer. Uh, sorry, top goal scorer. Top assister. But we have had some other problems this month, and we'll talk about that in a sec. So, firstly, squad. Top goal scorer, Alexander Peter. 23 goals for us now. He got a hat trick against Chelsea. He finally got his hat trick. I've been wanting that for him for so long. Imran Valtom has got 21, and Fabio's got 14. So, he's still goal every other game or every other start nearly. Uh, Salvi's a bit less on the old goals with nine, but look at that, 32 assists. It's still astonishing. Could do with a few more assists for some of these guys, but the goals have been a bit more spread out. Looking like, I feel like we probably could still at the end of the season have more than three, uh, sorry, more than two players into the double, uh, 20s for goals and hopefully i'd like to think maybe some more assists on here but well, you never know fabio's just not been very good with the old assists this season just how his game's been last few matches baltam has been the man pretty much propping up the team at times uh man of the match awards are shared pretty evenly amongst them as well so without further ado i mean as you can see galfrascoli picked up a back strain and will miss today's match um he's missed most of the games this month i think he got injured in training i think it was training uh we had a spell of injuries like that masek is back but he's not well enough to actually play in today's game but if we go through he will be fit for our next round thank god and thank god i registered him frankly um it's been a bit poor on the old injury front this month basically but what choice have we got we've got to go for it you'll notice that city are out they lost 5-0 at home against porto i think or away i can't remember what no i think it was at, actually away at porto but they lost 5-0 to porto which is incredible uh juve are through monaco are through against Bayern, so that's not a big surprise. Porto, Juve, Monaco are currently through. Uh, and in fact, so are Barca. So there's still a few teams to be sewn up. We are hopefully going to be one of those. Um, so I've made a mistake a few times because we started with this tactic in the last live comp and I kept starting the game and then realizing that we deep, we're on this tactic rather than this one. But today we're at home and we have to go for it. Um, but we're going to switch the team out. Hopefully they should all be as fresh as a daisy. Sam Farmer is the only one that was forced to play because Diallo was injured, so we'd had no options there. There's no point in me putting Masak on the bench. We're going to put Kenny, Kenny V on the bench uh who else do we not need Mankio could replace there Bayesta I don't really think we need two center backs on the bench to be honest and given the choice of the two god they're so even in terms of their overall ratings right now who's at the best average rating over the season that's how we'll choose uh but apparently the game won't let me there we go finally Bayesta 7.1 oh and Bayesta has it by a nose which means that we'll be putting uh, Everton on the bench for him just because that way we get a place player to replace Salvi in case something horrific happens now the issue we've got is Langura is in goal for us I'm a little worried about it, but what can you really do, guys? We, we've got no choice in the matter. Like, the guy's done well for us in the past at times. So I do wonder if that could be our downfall today, and I really, really hope it isn't. Like, we've played so well uh, this season, and we've played so well over the last few games, really, as well. Who's looking stressed? Hopefully we can cheer him up. Uh, is that Brian Gomez, of all people? Okay. Um, go out there and prove a point. We, we've just got to go out there and do what we do basically. Uh, we can do nothing more than that. We've got to go out and try and win this match. And I want to try and win it. Like, I want to be one of those games where we get an early goal and then maybe another early goal and really just kick off perfectly. Salvi with the ball in. Fabio's in there. Fabio's had a yes! Inside the first minute of the game, we've leveled the tie up and Fabio, big game man. He's got it. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you what, if we get to a Champions League final, I have every faith that even though he's not had the best season, he probably will be the one to score the winning goal because I just feel like he's got this mentality that other players in this team don't have. I don't know why. It must be something to do with the hidden attributes or something because you know, you know, I talk about this all the time, how much in these big games he tends to come up, particularly with the hat-trick he scored away against PSG two seasons ago. Great header from Fabio and we have the lead against Schalke inside the first minute. Let's not screw this up now. Now remember, a single goal for them makes our lives very, very difficult and I think today we really do need three goals to be fully safe. Actually, he's going to shoot and oh, who started very, very, very strongly. And I couldn't have asked for a better start to the game. Um, now, we do have to worry about their pace, obviously. But for now, we're just going to try and put the full court press on them. We're just going to lower the tempo slightly um, to make sure that we do take our chances when we get them. Because that's that was the death of us nearly in Germany. The early goal is great, but we need the second early goal. And then if we grab that third one, things get very, very dicey and very, very difficult for Schalke at that point. Because at the moment, a single goal for them makes our lives very, very difficult. Uh, but a one-all draw... 
overall on the tie is not really good enough for us. We need to come here and win the home game. That was why I really wanted to get that away goal, just to make our lives that little bit easier. Uh, right, okay. So, so far, things have not been that impressive. But... I'm tempted to make a couple of changes straight off the bat. So first thing I want to do is up that, and we're going to go through the middle here with the passing too. Um, one thing also, my assistant... Oh, I can't change it now. I hate that. Right. So for the moment, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. We've got the lead. We've got a goal. But if we grab a second goal... <clears throat> Salvi, go on. Pull that back for someone. Someone's got to get there. Someone's got to be in a position to get a shot away, really. Uh, a Seki. They're getting quite tight here. Go on, pull it across for someone. Ah! We've got enough players back to prevent anything dodgy happening here, you'd feel. And a sec look at that from Aseki. The determination to cover that ground and get back. And now we can hopefully launch this on another attack. We go 2-0 up at halftime. Oh, go on. This is the moment for Salvi. Go on. Get that cross in. Oh, they're really pushing hard at us. Aseki. Achibar. Can he slip it through for someone? Pull it across. Finds Peter. Peter! Wimbledon 2. Schalke 0. Peter's 24th goal of the season. And we have got the lead here by two goals to nil. And part of me wonders if a second half drop deeper approach might not be such a bad thing. But we might not do it immediately. Achibar knocks it inside. Peter takes his touch and drills it home. And wow. At the moment, as things stand, at the moment, we are heading through to the quarterfinals. As things stand. Things could horribly change in a second. As we know, it can change like that. Um... Part of me really wants to just get that third goal. And if we got a third goal, then I would drop, totally drop deeper. Because the fact is they've had one shot in that first half and it wasn't even on target. I don't know what it was. Um, in fact, we can have a little look in the pro zone stats. Brian, come on, mate. I really got to look at that. There we go. That's more like it. He's looking a bit nervous. I might have to take a little look at that in the second half because our defensive ranks have not been that solid. Then when are they ever? Uh, okay, so definitely starting to like this right-hand side a little bit more. Now, notice this. They're two... They've had some couple of key passes, but they're generally quite long balls. And the fact that they're dominating here and here makes me think that they're playing it. For, then again, actually, no, we're not. We're actually dominating the ball around this area. So it's very much all us at them. Let's just take a little look at shots um, for, Sh for, Gel uh, Sh uh, for Schalke. Now, they've had one shot that missed the target. So let's just quickly show that. That looked like a, I'm guessing it was probably a header or something like that. So we can't take it uber seriously. Now, one thing I am going to do is just play a little bit narrower here. Um because that was something my assistant suggested. And I'm quite happy to go um, through the middle at the moment. I know that we're doing well down that side, but I just kind of feel like when we actually look at where our chances are coming from, they're coming through the middle. Um, or were they? Well, one was from a free kick, so we can't really tell. But the second goal was scored from the centre of the pitch. Okay, fair enough, it was a cross-ish type of goal, but it wasn't like a straight-up down-the-wing cross type of situation. It was, okay, Isaac, you fouled him, so what? You'll probably get booked there, but, you know, actually, he's not got booked. Even better, he's got away with it. Schalke have got a few bookings, I think. Um... How many of them have they got? In fact, they've got all three bookings in this game so far, which is notable, um, which means that there could be a potential for perhaps a red card in this one as well. If they're being quite aggressive, how many fouls have they given away? 12, 2, 8. Here, let me go. Salvi, oh, goes long. Oh, okay. Don't know why he's going long there. Looking long. Oh, that should be ours. Isaki just mop that up, drop it off to Gomez. I just kind of want that third goal, that little bit of extra cushion, because at the moment... I feel like if we drop too deep now, then we could be letting ourselves in for a horrible surprise later. Fabio's through. Fabio's through. That's it. Wimbledon three. Schalke nil. Fabio with the goal. Palmer doesn't even want to drop deep now. Fabio with his 16th of the season. He scored twice again today. Look at this for a ball from Peter, by the way. Dinks it outside. Baltan around the side there. And Fabio, goalkeeper not really in the best position there. Fabio finishes it off. His 16th of the season and his second of the night. I think he might be up there with our top Champions League goal scorers at the moment. Um, if, well, I didn't even get a chance to make any changes. We score a fourth goal here and there's no point in dropping deeper at that point. We might as well just continue. Um, we're playing very, very well right now. All is looking very, very strong for us. Emerson. Uh, was that really the highlight? I'm just keeping an eye on Schalke's system to see if they start getting a shot or two. Uh, if they do, then we might have to start taking some action. But for the moment, I, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I have a habit of meddling in situations where we're actually doing just finding games. And I sometimes think that maybe that can be part of our downfall at times. Is that I, I sent, you know, it, oh my, phew. I thought that was going to be one of those situations. Mihailo Langura. Um, I wish he's done a fine job today. And I suppose he hasn't conceded a goal, so you can't really fault him on it. But he's not actually had to make a save yet. I wonder what he'd be like if he was called into action. Hopefully, Galfrascoli will be back for the next round if we go through. If. And it is still... Oh, Fabio's in. And he's made it four. What is our home form? I feel like if we're going to get to the Champions League final, it's going to be based on our home form. Fabio with the hat-trick again. Coming up clutch for us. And I I'm not going to bother dropping deeper at this point. I can't see Schalke scoring three times against us in the next 20 minutes. Peter again here. Just holding the ball up. You know, he got the hockey assist for Fabio's last goal. And this time, he's got a direct assist this time. Lovely stuff. 4-0 Wimbledon. And... 
this is more like it. Like, the Bayern victory at home was great, and it showed that we had a lot of fight in us, but this one shows a lot more to me, because as much as Bayern are currently still winning the Bundesliga, they've not won it for quite some time, and clearly Schalke and Dortmund are the two dominant sides in Germany um, at the moment, which is interesting. Okay, so changes, changes, changes. Now is about time we can make some, really. Salvi is probably the lowest rated player on that front line, and I'm actually going to get Everton on for a little bit, just because why the hell not? Um, the other options... Rodriguez is on a booking, but we don't really have many options in there, unless I do that and then... Mm, unless I do that... Wait, no, hang on. And then put Kenneth... No, no, that's silly of me, what we're we doing. Let's not do that at all. Let's just make the one sub for now. Uh, we'll probably get Mankio on for Aseki in a little bit, although Aseki has had a very solid game for us, which is pleasing. We've not even had that many shots. Like, compared to what we had in some games, we, we've been pretty... I mean, lax on the old shots, but it doesn't matter because we're taking the chances when they arise. Uh, we're going to get Ballesta on for Cabrera because he's the lowest on fitness out of those guys. And I just realized I've been playing Rodriguez in midfield. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, Sam Farmer would be a good one to get off, actually, unless we can... Why am I doing this? Like, I've just noticed... Okay, we're going to get Mankey on for the final substitution just to hell with it, really. And we've got 15 minutes to go. It'd be nice to keep a clean sheet, but at the moment... At this point, it really is looking... Everything's coming up Millhouse, and it is coming up lovely for us. Oh, surely not another one. Out it comes to Everton. Can he pick a pass? Fabio's in there again? Oh, I thought Fabio was going to... He's not scored one of his four, like, his quadruple specials for quite some time, and if he got a Champions League one, that would be quite something. Geis, I tell you what, um, I'm very, very pleased. Like, like really, really pleased. It's, we're finally going to go through to a Champions League quarterfinal. Obviously, who we get is going to be a big deal because that could really set us up. If we get an easier team, it basically could hopefully catapult us into a semi. And then we really have got to just go for it at that point. And, you know, we're playing in the FA Cup semi-final against uh, Chelsea. At, well, not at home, but you know what I mean? But we've just beat them 3-0. So clearly we've got the beating of them. So I think it's all looking good for an FA Cup final this year, which would probably be against Manchester City. Fabio's got six goals in the Champions League this season. He really is up there for us in terms of his Champions League scoring. Benfica have beaten PSG 2-1. I don't know what that means for the score lines, but we'll take a little gander at the other results here. The quarterfinal draw is right there. So I might tack that on the end of this episode so you guys can see who we're going to be doing in the double live com in the next video because we're doing double live comms from here on out. Um, it means the videos will be quite compressed. I might have to edit some stuff within the live comms if they get too long to keep the video length down. But we've got two live comms. And you're not playing Salford City. Uh, it's under our teams in the next games. Ben will be pleased. Right, guys, we're here. Champions League quarterfinal draw. The teams left in it. We've got Wimbledon, Monaco. Please no. Chelsea. I'd love to play against Chelsea over two legs. We've, I think we beat them home and away this season. Porto, PSG, Valencia. Valencia? <laughs> and Juve. Oh, and Barca as well. So who do we want out of them? I mean, Chelsea would be nice. Valencia might be interesting. Uh, any uh, Juve, maybe, because it's different. We have done okay against them before. Let's just do this and see who we get. The fact is, let's find out who we're going to be playing in the next video in a double live com. Chelsea versus Juventus. Okay. Paris Saint-Germain versus Wimbledon. Oh, no. Paris Saint-Germain versus Monaco. Okay. Oh, go on. Give us Valencia or Porto. Porto. Okay. That's going to be tough, but at least it's not, you know, PSG, Barca, or someone else so we're playing Porto in a two-legged affair in the next episode I feel like there's some confidence there let me just see if we can actually see the schedule for that okay yeah so we we, we do we've got Newcastle and Watford games in between there but we're going to have a double live com of both games against Porto in the next video that is going to be quality I hope anyway if you guys have enjoyed this video do drop a like on the video that'd be superb uh if we could get 400 because we finally got ourselves to the quarterfinals of the Champions League then do that as well that'd be superb and I'll join you guys in the next episode for a double live com against Porto can we get to the semis let me know what you think is this going to be our year I'll see you guys in the next episode thank you so much for watching Bye bye